Hi folks, we've been busy researching MIDI pad controllers to help you figure out what you need to make your best audio and video content and stay on budget. Links to all the products in the review are in the description box below, where you'll find current pricing for your region wherever possible. The video has timestamps, so that you can jump straight to the MIDI pad controller that interests you the most. Now before I move on, we'd love to hear what MIDI pad controller you're using right now and what you think of it. Let us know in the comments. Okay, let's get into it. Here are the top 5 best MIDI pad controllers according to our research. The fifth product on our list is the Presonus Atom. The Presonus Atom is a MIDI pad controller for your production and performance needs. It features a square body with a grid layout for the pads. It is compact and fits in a regular backpack, making it perfect for the travelling musician. The Atom is also fully bus powered by USB, so you won't have to worry about carrying batteries around. Presonus gives this MIDI pad controller 16 pads, each with a dedicated pitch, amplifier and filter control that you can edit with Atom, making adjustments easy. The pads are velocity and pressure sensitive, which makes playing virtual instruments all the more fun as you can bring out a richer expression. There are four rotary encoders that you can find at the top panel of the Presonus Atom. A rotary encoder converts physical turns into a digital signal in your computer. There are also 20 assignable buttons, so you can have a personalised experience. The Presonus Atom is compatible with most production software via USB. Musicians who work with Studio One, Ableton Live and Impact XT will find the Atom a breeze to work with. This MIDI pad controller comes with MVP loops that were custom curated for it. Here's something you should know before buying the Presonus Atom. Pros may find the controls a little limiting. If you're a beginner or a professional looking for a compact MIDI pad controller, the Presonus Atom is an excellent choice. A bonus for beginners is that it comes with computer recording software and plugins, so you can get started right away. The fourth product on our list is the Akai Professional MPC Studio Black. The Akai Professional MPC Studio Black is a compact MIDI pad controller less than 1.5 inches or 3.8 centimetres thick. This makes it portable as you can easily slip it in a backpack or laptop bag. This Akai MIDI pad controller has 16 pads with backlighting, making them convenient to use during performances where lighting conditions may be less than ideal. The construction of this Akai unit is fantastic. It boasts a rugged body with a brushed black design on aluminium, making it look sleek and durable. The data dial is also aluminium, ensuring its longevity. There are also four Q-Link control knobs which are assignable, so you can control the parameters and their values to best suit your needs. Above those knobs is a scroll knob that you can use to navigate the menu. You'll notice that the MPC Studio Black boasts an LCD screen. This gives you better control over your MIDI so you can easily record tracks without looking at your computer and keep track of your current parameters. You can use the Akai Professional MPC Studio Black with the MPC software, a production suite combining 128 track sequencing capability, audio editing and recording, MIDI editing, sampling, VST compatibility and real-time stretching. Here's something you should know before buying the Akai Professional MPC Studio Black. Akai's customer service can be hard to reach. If you're looking for a mid-priced MIDI pad controller, the Akai Professional Studio Black offers a ton of bang for your buck. The third product on our list is the Alesis Strike Multipad. The Alesis Strike Multipad is the perfect MIDI pad controller for drummers. It features nine velocity sensitive pads that are wide enough so that you can hit them with drumsticks comfortably. They also have customizable RGB backlighting that's easy to configure and looks excellent. It can also help you keep track of your assigned sound based on the colour. The first thing the Strike Multipad can do is sample. You can sample any sound or effect using a microphone, smartphone, computer, USB input or other audio devices. You can also download pre-recorded samples from the internet. The Alisa Strike Multipad allows you to edit right off the bat with the controller. The bottom section is home to a 4.3 inch or 10.9 centimetre colour screen where you can view your parameters in real time. The buttons and knobs act as selectors and encoders. Alesis also includes five onboard effects processors. Another fun feature is the built-in looper. You can create loop-based recordings from your samples or from an external source. You'll have a lot of connectivity options on the Alesis Strike Multipad. There are four audio outputs, two inputs, two headphone outputs, a MIDI in and out, and three extra trigger inputs. Here's something you should know before buying the Alesis Strike Multipad. This MIDI pad controller can be challenging to configure. 
If you're looking to perform or create music in a studio, the Elisa Strike Multipad has your back. The second product on our list is the Ableton Push 2. The Ableton Push 2 is what you need to make your sound production experience a breeze. The Ableton Live software can be daunting for new users, but with Ableton Push 2, the user experience becomes much more intuitive. The Push 2 is an extensive piece of hardware weighing 9 pounds or 4 kilograms. It has a solid and durable body. The upper shell is a thick yet lightweight plate of anodized aluminium. This makes it easy to transport, despite its size. On the top section of this MIDI pad controller is a multicolour strip display that showcases information on your current edit without being too distracting. The Ableton Push 2 boasts 64 soft silicon pads calibrated to respond perfectly at any velocity. They also have RGB backlighting that is functional and looks fantastic. High resolution endless controllers are on the uppermost part of this MIDI pad controller. There's also a 6.6 inch or 17 centimetre touch strip on the left corner. The touch strip helps for pitch bending or scrolling. It also has 31 LEDs that aid in navigation, an excellent feature for beginners. The RGB display boasts a high resolution, making it easy to view from any angle and under any lighting condition. Here's something you should know before buying the Ableton Push 2. It doesn't have arrangement view editing, which some users may dislike. If you work with Ableton Live software, the Push 2 is the perfect investment to make your music production journey more manageable so you can take your compositions to the next level. The first product on our list is the Native Instruments Machine Mark III. The Native Instruments Machine Mark III is everything you need for a smooth workflow. It boasts Native Instruments' classic groove box look, making it faster and more intuitive. The MIDI pad controller is lightweight at only 4.8 pounds or 2.1 kilograms. The controls are arranged logically, most located on the left-hand side of the device. You'll also get two high-resolution colour displays that help you navigate the controller and keep track of your current parameters. You can also use it to edit and preview sounds without having to look at your computer. There are 16 pads that will help you create beats from the comfort of your studio. You'll notice that these RGB lighted pads are larger than the ones on the Machine Mark III's predecessor. The pads are ultra sensitive. In drum mode you can use them as drums. You can also switch to keyboard mode to use them like a piano. Above the pads are 8 touch sensitive knobs that you can use to tweak your parameters. There's also a smart strip that you can use in different applications. It can function as a pitch bender or to strum notes. You'll also love how the Native Instruments Machine Mark III has dedicated function buttons and a 4 directional push encoder. Finally, this MIDI pad controller is USB powered and boasts a professional quality 96kHz 24-bit audio interface, allowing you to edit and perform anywhere. Here's something you should know before buying the Native Instruments Machine Mark III. Some users may find it a little uncomfortable as it doesn't have back legs for angling. If you're looking for a complete MIDI pad controller compatible with all major digital audio workstations, the Native Instruments Machine Mark III is the way to go. And there you have it folks, the five MIDI pad controllers that got us excited this year. If this video helped you in any way, let us know by giving it a like, and if you're new here, hitting the subscribe button. If you would like to see some more reviews from our team here at Gear Music Tech, check out this one on MIDI drum pads on the left, or this one on MIDI controllers on the right. We look forward to seeing you back here on Gear Music Tech soon. Bye for now.